Talent is not enough because I know a, a lot of talented people that don't prepare. In fact, some of the most talented people that I know prepare the least and they're getting average results like everybody else. Why? Because they've been getting by on talent their whole life. I think one of my advantages is that I didn't feel like I was getting by on talent my whole life. I felt like I felt like I was going to have to work for everything that I had. You know, becoming that person. I started at 23 here. I was ba I was a baker at a restaurant. I knew that in the beginning, Andrew. I knew I was not going to be able to outspeak people. I know, like I got you know C minuses in in high school. I wasn't. My intellect was not above people. I was pretty. I knew I was pretty average at a lot of things, but but I got really, 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 really good at all the things that I could control. Having Crohn's disease my whole life, I I fell out of control most of my life. Like when you have an autoimmune disease and you can't control it, you feel helpless, man. Like it's easy to get down because you're like, man, like what did I do? Like what did I do wrong? Like no, you're born like that. It's there's nothing you could do. So I think when it came to preparation, I was like, you know what? I can help prepare people. If I help prepare people, if I study more YouTube speeches, if I practice speaking back and forth in front of the mirror, if I memorize all of Ed's YouTube video speeches from the past conventions, all of them verbatim, and I can do them at home in my kitchen, and I can walk the same, and I can do the same amount of steps left to right, take the jacket off when he pauses, rolls up his sleeves, right? I, I, I can tell you when Ed takes his jacket off and every talk he's done that's on YouTube, I can tell you when he, I can tell you when he, you know, he's gonna talk, talk to you about the day you were born, the day you die, He's going to get really serious and then he's going to make you laugh and then he's going to pull it all together at the end. And that's why he's one of the greatest speakers. So I literally wrote hundreds of other people's speeches. I studied them. I memorized them all. I spoke like them. I practiced using my voice like them in flux, transferring energy, holding breath, not. And I just learned, I learned the language of, of other people. And that all came through preparation. Whether it was how to, you know, whether it was, you know, whether it was a plan for a client, like if I was going to carry back a plan for a client, we we're going to offer some great products through our great companies. Um, if the average agent was going to spend a couple hours prepping, I was probably going to put in four or five. If you prepare long enough, then you become talented. And, and by the time you get talented, you're so prepared, it's, 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 it's a good match.